Alrighty, today we're gonna get mashed. Hey my friends, it's Pepperoni and look at this. Iceland perfect mash. Mashed potato with milk and butter. If you want a third of a bag, microwave for five minutes. So here it is my friends, straight out of the microwave. I'm in a bit of a rush today I'm afraid and I would just like to give a quick shout out to Mank Larks. Hope you're doing all right mate. So this thing really is creamy under the prongs. Look at that. It's got a wonderful consistency. It's thick. So it was just about right. You have to add a bit of milk during cooking. So as you can see, my friends, close up and personal, just how thick and creamy that is. Look how the prongs slide and make a smooth surface, like plastering a wall. It smells good as well. Right, here we go. Oh yeah, that is delightful. It tastes exactly like homemade mashed potato. It doesn't taste like any of that packeted, dehydrated filth. This really does taste like you've made it yourself. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add even more butter to this thing. I'm going to get a nice knob. Chuck it in. Oh, watch that thing melt. Look at that in the hot mash. Right, let's go again. Oh, oh, hey, that is heavenly like that, my friends. If you get this stuff, I'd last some extra butter in it. Phenomenal flavour. I'm going to pep it up even further by adding a little bit extra white pepper. Oh, you can smell that white pepper as you stir it in, as it all heats up. That stuff is glorious, especially when you season it to your own taste. But it's 908 grams of eat for a quid. I see no point in making my own mashed potato anymore. This really is perfect mash and a 10 out of 10 to the last bite. Mmm. So, Iceland, perfect mash. Perfect, chaps. Thank you ever so much, because all that peeling and boiling and energy use and mashing and all the rest of it, I can just ignore that now and carry on buying this fantastic product. Thanks for keeping us skimp folk happy and thanks for keeping things nice and convenient. Anyway, thanks for coming. Till next time, get out of here.